Yo 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 guys, I'm back again, another day, another video, and today luckily I feel slightly better, so for why aren't we doing FIFA 22 starting team? Um, there is some new transfers that are quite exciting, especially when it comes to FIFA, so yeah, we'll do that. Um, it won't be obviously the most expensive, at least in my opinion, um, I'd love to include some some expensive players and I might include one or two um because if we potentially might get some but let's start from the goalkeeper goalkeeper to be honest once again um I'll definitely start with my boy Chelsea and we'll definitely start with Mendy Mendy was incredible when um when I started the game this year so once again can't fool the guy um he's what six 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 so quite high um and yeah, he was outstanding to be to be honest. Unless we pack someone decent, Mendy will definitely start at the start of the game. So, right back, right back. There's few. Obviously, obviously you got the Fredericks, and I know um, my boy PND said in his video. Obviously, if you haven't seen it, go check out. It is down below in the descriptions. But for me, cash. I used cash at the beginning, I really liked it. Fredericks for some reason just didn't seem to be good enough for me. Maybe maybe he was just too offensive, I can't remember to be honest. But on another side, there is two potential um, that could go into the left back. One of them is an Arsenal player and you know we don't really include Arsenal players here. Um, but you got Arsenal and then you got Wolves. So you got Fepo and you got let's just get rid of it, hold that. You got um Tavans, I believe his name is Nuno Tana Tavans. Here you go. At the moment he's only silver. Potentially he could go and get a slight increase. If he gets to 75, they'll be decent because obviously then he's become gold and most probably he'll be cheaper than the silver. So these are my fullbacks and the goalkeeper, Mendy, as I said earlier. And let's move into the center backs. Center backs will remain as they were this year. Um, <coughs> and for me, this year, um, we had tomorrow. Well, I guess we can't be tomorrow, but. Tomori was last year. Um, we'll go for Koch. That is obviously, unless something changes, like for example, Sako is no longer with Crystal Palace. Um, <laughs> but next one could potentially be um, Mings. So you got two, two Aston Villa links. Um, could include Ben Ben White, but once again. He might join Chelsea, um, join Chelsea, join Arsenal, and we know about that life to be honest. Um, in middle, <laughs> we got a few. So one of the new transfers, and his silver card looked um, absolute monster. So if I don't jeopardize his name, Frank Oneika, this guy. So he's CDM at the moment. And look at the pace for CDM, <laughs> he'll always be there. Hi, hi, really good card. I think to, to start with, he'll be incredible. On the left, we do have Daramai Gray. Um, I think that's quite an obvious one. Can't see him being extremely pricey, but with the pace, he'll do the job. On the <coughs> on the right hand side, we got once again a new transfer. He has joined Norwich City, and his name would be Rashica. Milot Rashica. The only thing is we don't know what position he'll play. So whether he'll play on the right side or whether he'll be central. So for me, I'll stick him as a, a left mid, uh, right mid. And then potentially, if I can think, actually, let's move him to the strike position for now. Um, <laughs> try 
transfer Bondia could be a decent shout. Um, Walcott is there, but we'll probably go for someone like Greenwood. Right, so Rashica is at the top. Um, the man, the favorite person, <laughs> and apparently the nicest person, is um, Patson Daka. Apparently, this guy is really humble. I was watching someone's um, YouTube and they were doing career mode and they had Daka and Daka was supporting the guy so really nice genuine guy so hopefully his price doesn't go too crazy um, he's free star free star not my ideal striker I guess but to begin with we'll keep him there and the, the last position would be he has to be a Chelsea Chelsea guy um, but unfortunately he did move to Norwich City for a loan but for me I'd like to start Gilmore I think Gilmore will be like 70 74 maybe so would be really nice to see him again the, an increase there is plenty of 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 players that could happen uh, and could join the team so if one of them is Malang Sa so he could join instead of Mings as he's now with Chelsea and uh, here we go this could be my start in 11 um, Gilmore potentially could leave I don't really know like it depends really obviously with the final transfers and then the prices but nothing too fancy Rashica is pacey so is Daka Dar Daramai is pacey with Greenwood Greenwood could be quite expensive to be honest because obviously um, a decent club but I can't see him getting any in like overall increase to be honest so yeah but for me I'm quite excited to be honest um, obviously we do get heroes card and we do get one to watch so anything can can happen right like at the beginning of the game the teams could the team could look completely different but that would be my sort of um, a go-to starter especially with this guy and Daka and then have to be Sa, I guess Mings has to leave Sa has to be there with Mendy um, the Arsenal guy there as well and overall I'm just excited can't wait two more months to go or just under two months let me know down below how your team will be looking or what you planning to to build I guess and are you building Prem or are you going for different league um, and then yeah let me know down below whether you've pre-ordered or you still waiting don't forget 11th of august is the last um day for pre-order to get the hero cards so don't miss out on that and make sure you do pre-order the best one because you do get the most out of money but anyways i'm out i'll see you next time peace